Zen, what are you on no, about? No, I wouldn't say I'm totally <laughs> zen. When you come back from holiday, minus one suitcase. Oh, no. That holiday feeling sort of doesn't last quite as you long. You came back yesterday. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. came back yesterday as well at 1am. Yeah. We didn't have a suitcase loss. We had a huge delay. Oh. But anyway, yes, yeah, so I'm feeling that kind of, I need to be calm. Everyone's watching just going, well, why didn't you just go no, camping? No, I know. Well, I'm tell us a little bit about them. I will. Incredible brand. They have been going since the cool 70s. That's where it all began. And actually with hair care. So originally, Molten Brown was a hair salon, which wow. many people still don't know. Um, it was a family run business, very progressive, very cool, very ahead of the game they were absolutely fanatical about no animal cruelty which then wasn't a thing okay so they were like the first vegans before vegans were vegans <laughs> and so all these beautiful natural products and they were like the place to be Cher used to get her hair done there they she used to fly over didn't she she did That's and amazing. all the supermodels would go in they gave Kate Moss one of her first modeling jobs ever I mean just always a bit ahead of the curve and then they got into fragrance and today I'm really excited because we've got the brand new hair products, which are so amazing. So I can't wait to tell you about those. And then, of course, now they are known for their fragrance, for their colour, and they work with the best perfumers around yeah. the world. But still with that ethos at the heart of it, being cool, being really like trend setting and totally animal cruelty you're, free. I feel like you always feel like you're winning when you've got your Molten Brown out. Got life and like, control. So this is definitely an hour for you if you want to feel that, you want to embrace that. Uh, on the, the way, way for you, we have got even greener. Um, so eventually you can just buy one bottle, just buy a refill, etc. So we've got the choice <coughs> for you. Uh, brand new Lovely. to us, this I'm new uh, this colour, by the way. It's great, isn't it? Yeah. I like it. I like it. It's kind of plastic. Um, <laughs> and you can wipe clean if you spill your coffee or if you dribble. Um, okay, great. So these are good things. We don't offer that though today so let's not sell it and let's move on we're gonna start the yeah. hour off <laughs> well, i'm them. just <laughs> half asleep and a bit stupid um, so, okay so this one here i love this one so this You've has got, got there yes. you yes. have got in here your orange and bergamot uh, hand wash and hand lotion yes then you've got suma ginseng and i think the other one there got that one is again. your jasmine and jasmine sunrose. and sunrose yeah what i will say is suma ginseng is it suma ginseng or is it better from grapefruit no, it's, uh, yes, it is Suma Ginseng. Yeah, sorry, I've, do you know what? I've got my bottles back here muddled. Oh, okay. Like an idiot, because I moved some around. Okay. Invigorating Suma Ginseng is the one that I've popped in my suitcase to take away on holiday. Now, bearing in mind, I was away for a week with my two teenagers, so they do shower because they want to smell nice in the evening, just in case. <laughs> um, <laughs> we've passed, though, can't we bother to wash stage? Okay. And uh, we, I've come back with loads because you don't really need to take a full size because yeah. a little goes a long way. So we were all showering, obviously, and this was just beautiful. So in fact, now if I smell this, it's gonna, yeah, it's gonna just take me back to my lovely holiday, holiday. that I've just had. And I, it's really funny and it sounds a bit sort of spoilt because I'm lucky I can go, which, which molten brown do I want to take on my holiday? What do I want to smell like? And, and this one really worked. Worked for my son and my daughter and me because it's really, really gender neutral. And it's like a gorgeous sort of cologne. So I almost didn't like need cologne, to pack yeah. any perfume. Your skin, like skin is scented and you've already been putting sun cream useful. on all day. So it was just really beautiful to use. We all really adored this one. So I'm, I'm loving this at the moment. And we can see the top and the heart and the base and notes created there. Created by if you want. top noses, top perfumers. And then that fragrance is infused into the product, loads of natural oils in there as well, so it's not drying, but you're essentially bathing in perfume or cologne kind of thing. And you and don't you have do dozens of sun rose in that one. That is my feeling, but somebody can check online. So Better the one that you're- grapefruit. Yeah. So that one I think is correct there, and that one there. You think I we've got, think we've got a road. That with, yeah. We've got a road I one. Think. Okay. <laughs> yes, <laughs> vetiver and grapefruit. grapefruit which Let's I've got find here. one of them. Here we okay, go. I'll take that one. Have you Put got that one? in there. Okay, okay. thanks love, thanks. Okay, yes, so vetiver and grapefruit, <laughs> and then you've got the uh, invigorating Sing, Suma nice Ginseng. juicy one. Then you, um, but then the vetiver is this like lovely grassy note. You've got a little bit of lychee in there as well, so it doesn't stay sharp. It goes quite nice and warm as it goes warm. on the dry down. First thing so in the morning, that's going to be really refreshing and reviving. And then the other set is beautiful as well. I think if you were gifting, if you had a mum or a sister, extra, or great. Wow. So if you're not talking confectionery bounty no. bar this is like if you think that white sort of meat that you get out oh, of a gosh, coconut that is, that is it's quite dry yes and this is a beautiful color the bottle it's got this sort of peachy egyptian mm. rose almost i'm gonna have a go i haven't even started like 
using all these lovely fragrances what am i doing the, this one feels a little bit more feminine of all the fragrances yeah. that we've gone well, that that the gardening will know I... what jasmine smells like and especially on a hot summer's day or in the breeze in the evening that beautiful it's quite heady jasmine it's gorgeous and then the sun rose very precious so yeah that one is more a glamorous lady i think because you're shopping at home i like to try and tell you if something is what i would call traditionally yes. the more masculine end and the traditionally more feminine, of course anything goes you yeah. wear whatever you want it's the heavenly this one lilies, here is hand wash yeah and that is just beautiful that's for uh, honestly a uh, uh, very difficult one to dislike if yeah. you know what i mean it's Do like something's amazing uh, if you wanted to if you love your multi and brown then i wouldn't be surprised Three if you multi buy of our the... icons which means best 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 yeah. sellers um and not just in europe i mean globally. globally um they are all completely stunning i'd find it very hard to choose uh, um, but let me and try it is it. very mouth-watering very gourmand very delicious then you've got your coastal yes very different yeah i'm gonna grab this one because go i just it. feel like the coastal, go with the coastal. Um, oh by the way when you get your hand wash you need to give it a few pumps to get it going when it's brand new and after that just one pump is enough yeah definitely. so i've got one pump of the hand wash on my hand now i'll just show you so you get going and as soon as it hits the water look there's plenty to wash your hands oh, the the scent is instant Wow, so I'm getting fig, I'm getting that salty tang. It's that like is what this one is like in a bottle. Really beautiful. Um, that bottle, just the bottle without the refill, will last in your home. Honestly, it could be six months. Yeah. Like you were saying, yeah. they just don't go down. They don't go down. It takes ages. And also what I quite like and then to do cut is to, like, Christmas is over. I still have it with January, February. You're like, okay, I'm getting some, you know, come yeah, on. You just, Enou yeah, enough you now. Like you want to That's switch. Christmas. Yeah. So I'll put it away and then I sort of decant a bit the next year. Oh, so orange and bergamot is the third one and orange and bergamot is our number one all over the world. Is, is orange and bergamot, is that one it's of the, the classics? It's the first fragrance yeah. that the Molten Brown creators ever made. Um, it started life, it went into the Grosvenor House Hotel because they approached them and said, do you want to try this um, and have it in all of your... It's exactly the same fragrance and the orange in there, although there is some orange oil from Spain, it's orange blossom. Yes. So it's the Neroli. Yeah. It's so gorgeous. And honestly, if I'm gifting to somebody that I don't know, i.e. going to someone's house I don't know that well, or perhaps if I was doing a thank you to work or I was doing thank yeah. you to somebody, I don't know, that's the one because it's... It's universally, I've never met anyone that doesn't like it. It's yeah. so easy, beautiful, citrus, but not sharp. The bergamot is really fresh. I think this is a good one in the kitchen. Yeah. You know, when you've been cooking, Garlic, sometimes you've really got something that you've been cooking, and it's, that, and it's quite a tricky smell to get um, off mm, your hands. Mm. The orange and bergamot, there's something about that, that orange blossom that just, I think, kind of helps to lift those. Cut through. Cut through, yeah. yeah. It's really beautiful. Oh, and, of lovely. course, what's lovely is your hands feel gorgeously soft. Now, just to remind you, in terms of your refill, your bottle is 300 mils. You get 400 mils refill. So you will be able to fill this again and then almost half again so it's a really great size oh, refill yeah. and you've got the three like different mango or something oh nice. lovely i've oh. had a i've got a little uh, ice Holiday. cream and rose apron baby. on yeah that's yeah. fine uh, we've got for you now it completely is the hair salon was the place to be in the 70s very very cool and they've always made salon quality hair care it's in all the stores still yeah and they have customers who will only ever use it they come in and they they, they stick to it once discovered they're so loyal to it recently molten brown have had a bit of a revamp on the hair care so they've kept the absolute store what they would never you know, will never go but they've added to the range and this is the result these very very beautiful gender neutral classy used bottles. with plastic that um, has already been used like three times so trying to be as green as possible what they've done they've gone back to the basics which is finding herbs and botanicals so natural ingredients that do a job and then depending on your hair type yeah. you pick which one and, and they honestly do what they say so will you go for repairing yeah. shampoo which has got fennel in it. And this is all hydroponically grown uh, okay. ingredients. 
um, as I say, that will do the, these things for you. So repairing shampoo, if you've got drier hair, if it's a bit sun Something damaged, to give, that's yeah. the one Go you want your volumizing shampoo with nettle. Oh. And uh, finally, hydrating shampoo, which is with chamomile so perhaps if your hair's a bit lackluster if you've been a bit overtired perhaps your diet's been a bit out of kilter or you're recovering something give it a boost with the chamomile what's interesting with that fennel one is i, I don't know about fennel. i'm always a bit like but actually the fragrance of this is beautiful yeah the, 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 the fragrances in the hair range is very delicate if you've used our um uh our oh gosh crest oh, one before well done yeah, they all have a rather beautiful, subtle, freshly washed smell. So it's not the same as the, the bathing products where it's like really, no, really overpowered. Yeah. It will just give you that clean, freshly washed hair uh, feeling. But the Look, difference like, absolutely with brown. reflects so much that's going on in your life as well. So totally. if you feel like you need to bring the gloss, the shine, you can see I use these Molten Brown products. And I've got to say, my hair ain't bad. Yeah, it's it's sort of... It, you know, I can tell that I've been using good stuff on it. And the difference is, so I tend to use the hydrating one, the one with the chamomile yeah. in it. It's really, really good for my hair. And the conditioner is beautiful as well. I almost sit with it on for a little bit or stand for that little bit extra in the shower. So it almost is like a mask. You can see that the, um, the look of it is different. So the shampoo looks clear and you can see the nice sort of thickness. Mm of the conditioner and again it has this lovely subtle scent but really when you're washing your hair with your shampoo that's about cleaning your scalp yes it's about washing your head as it were the conditioner is vital to give your hair a drink a mask of whatever it is that it needs some people don't like to put conditioner on their roots they just put it on the ends but you'll know your hair best but what i will say is these For, are um, an upgrade the is in them and as, as somebody with finer hair is going to love this the the reviews that we get the, but i don't use the ones for fine hair because my hair's so thick i'm constantly trying to get it. i've got calm, fine hair I should go for that one. but people who do have fine hair they rave about so these and they say yeah, yeah. And neon amber's really new and it's doing really well I, I love tobacco but it is it's quite sort of earthy and quite sort of it's got a sort of smoky element to it mm. but not like tobacco tobacco no. tobacco is the plant but it's it's um it's a woody fragrance it's mm. quite strong but heady neon amber is warm uh now next we are moving on to that beautiful body oil and we have got we for you it, basically also. to get into that category but we didn't have one in the molten brown range until this came out right. now we have a couple okay um it is a floral sheet product though so you jasmine there's a clue there obviously but it's also got this beautiful peach so it's got this sort of blush peach that you get at first i love the color i think it's particularly classy uh, for gifting i think anybody you know who's quite glamorous who likes maybe has a dressing table that kind of person but it always reminds me of old school glamour like marilyn monroe it's old movie gold. Gold. Oh, it's, it's, so it's cool. quite french chic mm. so you get that burst of fruit and then you get that beautiful Floral um, sort scent. of musky. Um, it's been compared a lot in the beauty press to uh, Coco Mademoiselle, which I think is fair. Oh, okay. Yeah, definitely. It is creamy, get. creamy. I've been so desperate to dive know, in. I'm like, forget the wash. I want to get onto the oil. <laughs> so it, I love this. So look, okay, that's one arm. I've just put some of the oil on. I'm going to go with the other arm so you can see the, the difference in texture. Okay. So this is sort of suntanned, sort of leather, um, <laughs> leather effect, lizard. Um, and then you put the oil on. Look at this. It's a dry oil. So I don't want people thinking, ooh, that sounds really greasy. Look how your skin, oh, that's especially lovely. if it's quite dry, will just drink that up. Mm. You get a little bit of a sheen, but it's nothing that is going to stay too long. It is drinking it. And that feels, honestly, to the touch, like silk. And that is so beautiful. And it's so scented. That is it's gorgeous. Beautiful. If you have got, as well, oh, you've yes. been doing the sunbathing in the garden thing and you just think, actually, if I'm going out and I'm going to wear a skirt, you want the look, you know, you just, you get this sort of very subtle, hydrated look, which is so nice. I think this one is, uh, perhaps if there are any fellas watching, a very romantic gift yeah. because it's not necessarily something we'd always treat ourselves to. 
That said, if you've had a good week and you're like, no, I need a pamper, this is a lovely thing to have in the cupboard. Well, this will last you it's for a ages, glass that bottle. oil as well. Because I've just used a tiny amount under yeah. both arms. It yeah. responds better that, to oil. Oh, I find that with yeah. sometimes with a cream, it can you are the top. that takes a while. For the other half, perhaps, then she would adore this. Oh, absolutely. I mean, and even the packaging, the colour of it, the look of it, it's very glamorous, very sophisticated. So do try it. And, and the scent is out of this world it's so beautiful mm. um i what can i do my legs yeah go on then you do your legs i'll give everyone the details two four three <laughs> zero <laughs> can we start the job, with the neon number because lots of people might already know the tobacco absolute and, and i, I really know like and the you're neon not number. so keen on the tobacco and you love the neon number I love I the neon. Neon. I know, I know. Um, okay absolutely i love both these i think what's nice is that in the summer it's good to give you the options of your fruities and your citrus and the thing but actually some people really like something a bit richer and a yeah. bit warmer and a bit more if you go to like places mm. like Morocco or whatever you know you would mm. absolutely go for those slightly warmer fragrances so here we are tobacco we will come to in a minute that's Thanks. your woody one it's amazing Beautiful. neon amber is quite new and it's really different to anything else we have on the fragrance wheel of fine perfumery it would be described as an amber fragrance so it had this has this warmth in it um which is really beautiful and it's absolutely great for the guys this, this one amazing set through note that's quite uplifting well it's a bit like you know when with cognac that has a sweetness yes, that runs through but there's clever. something sugary in there there's, there's exactly just something that runs or through even that takes the sharp or real grass or things that you know it, that, do you know what i mean it has like a yeah. sort of little sweet if you get a blade of grass and you you know rub that kind of thing so yes beautiful so this is quite think arabian nights it's got mandarin oil it's got pink peppercorn it's got that cedar leaf oil the ingredients that I'm talking to you about are expensive as well. So again, that sort of decadence. So this one, I have a friend called Kate and it, she's obsessed with it. And she's really, really fussy. She's one of those people you could give her, oh, I don't like that, oh, I don't like that, oh, I don't like that, I don't like that, I don't like that. <laughs> oh, I love that. I was like, oh, hello. <laughs> There's always one that will get yeah, you, she's you know. Yeah, obsessed and with uh, this now. And I think this is lovely. I think this makes me feel very powerful. Like Half the stock has now I've gone. Gone. That fresh. The vetiver and grapefruit, the sumer ginseng in there. Yeah. That's the one I personally would be tempted to go for right now. Very, very refreshing. Um, still got all the different like notes in and the, the base layers, but that grapefruit and vetiver. Oh, Delish. wow. Delish. Amazing. And okay. the sumer ginseng. See at the oh, moment. Amazing. Now, let's the talk. eucalyptus. Oh, that's I've my favourite. I've just finished a bottle of that at home. Craig loves that one as when well. When I had a shower, when I got in last night, because it was like late, we'd lost a suitcase. I turn to that. <laughs> Freshen me up. It's lovely. It's menthol. It's minty. It's cleansing. And I need to get another bottle, actually. And then you've got Temple Tree, which is amazing. Really blissful, as it says. A very different proposition. It's calming. It's gorgeous. Holiday the it's got the lovely you've got your black pepper as well in the 100 mils. So, and, and then you've got two Cyprus. others. You've got the leather and you've got the geranium um, to kind of try. They're the 50 mil ones. Hand hand wash. get washes out. I adore that. You've got Flora Luminari, which is a really special floral. It's sparkling it's got packaging um, that you can't get anywhere else and we've purposefully not put any writing on it so you can sift you can gift you can make things up um, however you want or even put the boxes away for another time yeah. it's up to you i like that the one in here. Box we haven't, what about the leather we haven't really talked about the leather in this hour yeah that's really strong so it might not be your bag if you're not so keen on the tobacco because it's, it's like Russian it's very really a little bit ooh. i'd be tempted at this value if I was getting this set, but I really like the, the hair boxes, I might buy present and put the hair care in oh, the box. I think it would look nice really idea. nice yeah, with the brown nice bottles in. Anyway, that's just a colour thing. So what else? We've got pink pepper in the um Everybody the loves set the pink pepper, pepper, don't they? Who in doesn't floral, like the pink yeah. pepper? Absolutely amazing. A citrus burst, but it's like tangerine citrus. And Rated then it, you, you know, get like if you these... put in a, a smoothie sometimes, it's really, it's quite powerful. And then patchouli in the base. So actually, although it has a spicy element to it, this is a woody citrus and I love it. It's confident, it's outgoing, it's different. It doesn't smell like anything else on the planet except for Moulton Brown's pink pepper pod. It's fabulous. And it is, like it, whichever fragrance you're wearing. You remember, remember to breathe. Yeah, I, sometimes I find that I'm really shallow breathing. Like I'm kind of like, when was the last time I took And a your ginger lily uh, hand cream to go with your hand wash. The other set we're calling the fresh, 
Orange and bergamot is your hand wash and hand refreshing. refreshing. So, and the other two are also equally sort of escapist and exotic and fragrant. So it's just which kind of which one you're feeling sort of which vibe you're feeling like we said at the beginning of the hour though don't feel like any of the fragrances uh, you've Gemma, got thank in you here so much. Thank that you. was loads of fun i enjoyed that uh jackie cabler is waiting in the